So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, it says find the first five terms of the sequence. And here we have a sub n equals 1 half n cubed plus 1. Um, so basically what we need to simply do for this problem is um, go ahead and, and do what we did on the last one and just plug in 1, which represents the first term, in for n. Okay. Now I'm going to just do this one first of all, and then we'll just kind of see where it comes into. Now remember, as, as I mentioned, we have to apply order of operations. So this one's a little bit um, different than the last one. Now we have to cube the 1, right? So 1 cubed is just 1. Times that by 1 half is 1 half. So we have 1 half plus 1. Now you could say it's 1.5 if you want to convert it to decimals. Or if you guys, what we should know is how to add decimals. Remember our fractions. Remember when adding fractions, they have to have the same denominator, right? Would you guys agree with me that 1 is the same thing as 2 over 2? Yep, now they have the same denominator. So we could say that is 3 halves. Yes, 1.5 is still correct. But again, you guys might only see options for only fractions only. Yeah, it's a 3. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know where 5 came from. All right, so let's go and do 2. So 1 half times 2 cubed plus 1. Well, 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8, eight times 1 half, which is 4. four plus 1 is 5. Five. Hey, that one's easy. Let's do 8 cubed. So 3 cubed is 3 times 3, which is 9, times 3, which is 27, times 1 half. Don't, again, you don't need to worry about putting it to decimals. Just write that as 27 over 2. Right? 27 times 1 half, would you guys agree? It's going to be 27 divided by 2. It's the same thing. Divided by 2, multiplied by 1 half. And then plus 1. Well, again, instead of adding plus 1, let's just add 2 over 2, because that has the same denominator. So now we just add the numerators, which is going to equal 29 over 2. a to the 4 is, is going to be 4 cubed. Well, again, knowing our cube numbers. What? Yeah, oh, geez, oh man, sorry about that. You're right. So 4 cubed is going to be 4 times 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Times 4 is 64. Um, times 1 half is going to be 32. Again, remember multiplying by 1 half is the same thing as dividing. So that's going to be 32. And then we have to add 1, which equals 33. And then the last one is a to the fifth, which equals 1 half times 5 cubed plus 1. 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. Uh, times 1 half would just be 125 over 2 plus 2 over 2. And then that gives me 127 over 2. Does anybody have any questions to at least how to find the first